The parts are prepared and the rivet gun is loaded. So in today's episode we are going to build the horizontal and vertical stabilizer. So yeah, exactly one year after I have ordered my kit, uh, it's time to pull the first rivets. I have done all the preparations, uh, all the parts are dimpled, deburred uh, and primed. Um, so the next step is to click all the parts together. Uh, I have to make a last check on the manual, click everything together and then we are putting and pulling the first rivets. So this is really, really exciting moment for me. So, sind wir bereit? Auf geht's! So yeah, this was the first rivet of my build and my father and I continued uh, with the horizontal stabilizer. And as you can imagine, this is really the fun part of the build. Um, checking everything, clickering together, uh, making the last check and then shooting the rivets uh, is really, really satisfying. Everything lines up perfectly. Um, the parts come together really easy. It's uh, not really, really difficult. Um, the Milwaukee rivet gun is making a perfect job. Uh, you can shoot all the all the rivets with the one head uh, and so yeah this is, is really really fun we also installed the skins but we didn't uh, rivet the skins by now uh, the skins have to be open for the inspection I hope the inspection will be somehow next week or so uh, and we have to put it down again and to, to open the wings for the for the inspection. So the next day a friend of mine came over and we built the elevator together. Uh, you have to take care at the elevator because the elevator is a really weak part and it's bending a lot until you installed the, the skins. And you also have to make the swing arm like we are here making it here now. You have to use the four millimeters uh, rivets with a length of 12 millimeters. So this is a very thick part and you have to align the holes really carefully so that this, uh, these rivets go through the holes. But at the end it came out quite well. Um, on these channels there are some difficulties because you have to be careful where all these channels, channels go. Uh, there are two small channels in between. Um, you have to take care of that. Uh, I did not install the trim tab till now because I'm missing the trim tab hinge. Uh, and I also didn't install the counter whites because it will uh, be worse for the bending of, of the part. Uh, but everything come together quite nicely and it was not all in all it was was not that that difficult at all um the next day my partner anita and her son came over and we were building the rudder also the rudder is quite easy to do um there's no really big difficulty um you have to make it really carefully because to align the the skins uh, some builders had problems with the rear edge of the of the skin and you have to, to build it really carefully. I did not install the beacon light till now. Um, I will do this in a, in a later moment uh, after after the inspection. But also the, the rudder came out quite quite nice. Um, I also made the vertical stabilizer but I have no videos of the vertical stabilizer with this you have to install these rib nuts and as you can see I have locked my rib nuts with uh, epoxy uh, and there's some of those 
uh, and you have to enlarge all the holes not only the holes for the rift nuts but also on the channels outside so that the bolts are going through uh, yeah be sure and take care of which uh, holes you will enlarge and then also the uh, vertical stabilizer is quite quite easy to build um, yeah so all the parts are ready for the inspection uh, I hang them up on the wall uh, so yeah everything came out quite well I think I'm, I'm quite proud of how it came up till now so I'm waiting for the inspection I hope the inspection will be in the next week or so uh, the Austrian authority will come over and check my build job and all the work I've done till now uh, and after that I will uh, install all the skins finally so hope to see you soon on the channel's link TSI and bye